Hello, welcome back. Today's video, we're going to talk about toxic people. But what does this mean? Because toxic traits seem to be a word that's thrown around these days, very similar to the word narcissism. It's used and abused. But the very basic meaning is that you make people feel worse than they first did before they started to interact with you. So stay tuned. Sometimes we go through different stresses in life and that can cause our emotions to really build up and we kind of explode as an emotional kind of bomb type thing. But that is safe to say that sometimes you might catch yourself doing these types of things. However, if you are not doing these things stated in the video on a constant, regular basis, don't worry. But if you do notice that you seem to be agreeing with what I'm about to say and nodding your head in shame, well... It's very, very likely that you could be a toxic person. So here are the 15 things that you need to know. Watch for their body language. When you first greet a person, they will seem energetic and very bouncy. But then towards the end of the conversation, you notice they seem closed off. They stop talking and they do not want to look you in the eyes and you get that closed off vibe. It could be that you did or said something that really hurt them. You hear the same poor excuses. Friends or colleagues always give you an excuse of why they cannot interact or hang out with you. It could be that they are leaving you on red or taking a very long time to actually call you and get back to you. And if you find out they go to events without you or you always hear the same, I'm just so busy with work and I'm so tired right now, it's maybe another time, but then they do not want to spend time with you. Let's be honest, they see you as toxic because if you really like someone you want to keep spending time with them and deep down people know that they do not enjoy their time with you so therefore they just refuse to engage with you at all you always think that you are right if you find yourself telling people that they are wrong that they need to do things your way and you find it very hard to just accept people for who they are faults and all and you do try to change them it's likely that you are a toxic person if you are the person that seems to just have an opinion on everything someone does well keep watching the video because deep down a toxic person feeds off criticism and they think they are far more superior to everyone else. You don't hear from people after you see them. Do you find that you hang out with friends or talk to people on the phone and then they don't call back and you don't hear from them for weeks or months? Well this could be because they are recovering from the stress and the bad vibes that you give them. You do not celebrate other people. Toxic people are quick to ask for praise and brag about their new achievements. However, when someone else has taken your spotlight, you do not seem joyed in the slightest. And you don't make a big deal out of other people's successes. You never comfort them when they are unwell or upset. Yet, you will cut people off mid-conversation to get them to celebrate your achievements. And you hold grudges and possibly lash out on other people who don't make a big deal about your success. People just vanish out of your life. Yes, some people are going to be going through their own issues and they could vanish from your life for a number of personal reasons. But if this happens and you have already found yourself nodding along to the other signs of this video, well, it could be that you are a toxic person and people want to stay away. You humiliate people to impress others. Now, friends have banter and it's normal and it's relatively healthy. However, if you constantly put people down in a group and you are very rude and this is a constant thing that you do, this is leaning towards the toxic side of things. And if you try to make people like you more and laugh with you at the expense of putting someone down, well, this is behavior that you really need to change. You do not respect other people's boundaries. If a friend wants some alone time for a couple of days and you turn up outside their house because you are upset, then consider this a bad move within reason, obviously. Now, this would be okay if there was a crisis. However, most people are emotionally unstable and they cannot self-soothe. Therefore, they will expect their friends to stop what they are doing to heal them because of the toxic traits inside. And if someone says they don't want to have a drink and you keep going on and on saying just one drink it won't hurt or well if you can't lend me 50 pound just lend me 20 pounds maybe 10 it's fine well this is toxic behavior because you are not respecting other people's boundaries 
You cannot let it go. Take a page out of Elsa's book. If you always find yourself talking about the past or one specific thing that happened to you, yet you do not try to improve your thought process or the situation, you could be toxic. Now, most toxic people will wallow in their own misery and they will not seek the needed steps to better their own life. You own the conversations. If you find yourself at the center of every conversation, constantly bringing it back to your topics and your opinions, and others find it very hard to get a word in because you just cut them off, well, this really is not good news. Ask the other person questions and let them talk because conversations need to be balanced. Now, some toxic people think people like to listen to them because they don't talk much. When really, the other people in the conversation just give up talking to you because they just want you to shut up. You probably hold grudges forever. Everyone does wrong from time to time and that makes us perfectly imperfect. However, you are the type to hold a past event to someone for years, always bringing it up and never being able to heal from it, despite if the other person tried to make the situation right and they endlessly apologized. You make it very clear that you will not forgive and you will not forget what happened and use it against them all the time. You do not apologize or admit that you are wrong. You fail to see that you did something wrong and you find it very hard to admit that you messed up. And if you do apologize, you will stand to defend your decision and probably say, I'm sorry, but... You do not give back. If you are the type of person who asks for favors constantly, to borrow money, ask for help around the house, to pet sit, whatever it is, and you do not offer the same thing back to people when they ask, well, this is toxic behavior, and you will eventually realize that people will start to gradually distance themselves from you. You take pride in being the victim. If you are late for work because your spouse snooze the alarm, you will use this as a manipulating way to gain affection for people to feel bad for you. If you are the type of person who always has a sob story that links onto another one, for example, I'm late because he hit snooze on the alarm and I was very tired so I didn't hear it the second time because I was helping out my aunt because the doctor didn't help her out so I had to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, toxic people don't realize that this gets old quick and people will stop batting an eyelid to anything traumatic you discuss because it emotionally drains them because you always have a new distressing situation. You take everything personal, from jokey comments to being told what to do and how to do something a little bit different. Now, this will unleash your toxic demon and you will have a heated disagreement, which will then turn into you trying to emotionally hurt the other person with comments about how they are in the wrong. And when you are asked to apologize, you will refuse and say, hmm, they caused me to lash out because of what they said to me first. <laughs>